Welcome back everyone. November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month and medical professionals are encouraging people to get screened. According to the American Cancer Society, about 240,000 people will be diagnosed with lung cancer this year. Dr. Brian Persing is the Division Director for Medical Oncology at the Mitchell Cancer Institute. He is kind enough to join us tonight. Thanks for being with us, doctor. And tell us first off, who should get screened for lung cancer? Is this something everyone should do or, or who should be thinking about this? So uh, typically when we think about screening for lung cancer, it's going to be in uh, patients that have a history of smoking. Uh, typically anything more than a 20 pack year history uh, should prompt somebody to discuss the potential for screening with their physician. The physician should bring it up as well uh, or any practitioner that you're seeing. Um, uh, there are two groups of screening guidelines, but most of that uh, includes patients between 50 and 80 years of age. And uh, some require that they have been smoking in the past 15 years or are current smokers. Okay, so how do you go about getting screened? What's the, uh, you know, what's it entail? So it's actually one of the easiest screening tests. It's a, a CAT scan or just a CT scan. We call it a low dose CT. And uh, you lay down on a table, they take a picture of you, and then we get the results back uh, to tell us if there are any nodules or anything else that's abnormal. You know, there are a lot of people who are non-smokers who think, well, I'm not smoking, I'm not uh, around anybody who does secondhand smoke, that kind of thing. Why should I get screened? How about non-smokers? So there's not a lot of data uh, in doing uh, screening studies on non-smokers. Now, we know that secondhand smoke and some other things can increase the risk of uh, the development of cancer, radon exposure, and certainly even here uh, with shipbuilding industry, asbestos increases the risk for lung cancer as well. So, you know, if you have new symptoms develop, cough or you develop uh, blood in, in uh, anything you cough up or you lose weight or are having uh, chest pain that's not going away, that's always a good time to talk to your physician about the potential for uh, a CAT scan to look, not always for screening purposes, because now you have symptoms. And, and quickly, doctors, we're running out of time. Tell me about any advancements in treatments uh, that have been happening lately. Yeah, so I mean, advancements in, in screening uh, include newer surgical techniques that may be less aggressive, like robotic surgeries, but certainly even in now the metastatic setting, immune therapy and molecular therapy are making uh, a great deal of change for our patients and their quality of life. All right, Dr. Brian Persing with the Mitchell Cancer Institute. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you.